Hello and welcome to the Games Outfit Weekly Recap. This will be a way for you to follow up on the hottest in gaming news in a very brief manner to make sure that you can play games all weekend, as well as update you on what we've been up to just in case you miss anything. Star Wars Battlefront gameplay was shown last week after years of anticipation to only be shot down by the community. If you haven't really been following the new Battlefront, it'll take place in the original trilogy and a free DLC that ties into Episode 7. However, to most gamers, the game feels as though it is a downgrade, with a 40 player maximum, around 10 vehicles, and most importantly, only 4 planets that you'll be able to play on. It left the community with a sour taste in their mouth, and personally, I want to see more before I'm quick to judge. Apparently some surveys don't just give you aids, but they give you Mass Effect 4 details. Before I jump in, this is all entirely speculation based on a Reddit user's post, but with how quickly the post was taken down and how some of the info detailed in the post feels like a marketing strategy, it's definitely worth a read. But since you're here, the game will apparently take place in the Andromeda Galaxy, with the main story focus being humanity colonizing new worlds. You'll lead a new team into the unknown to stumble upon another ancient alien race that will pose a threat to humanity. Hmm, I feel like I've heard all of this in nearly every sci-fi game. In a sad ending to the once glorious days of PC gaming, Valve has opened the Steam Workshop to paid mods. This has the whole PC gaming community in an uproar for obvious reasons. Nearly every mod on Skyrim has been changed to a paid mod, and this has kind of ruined some of the advantages to PC gaming. While I do totally believe that people should get paid for their hundreds of hours of work, I do think that it shouldn't cost more than the game. While it has been a slow week in gaming news, we did post the latest episode of Diving Deeper, this time taking a deeper look as to why Minecraft is still number one on YouTube. Go and check it out, you know that you want to. Also, I did want to formally explain what happened last weekend with the channel, as we have received some comments that were worried. YouTube mistook one of our videos for being spam and essentially halted everything. We love the community that we're establishing here, so of course, we fought it. Thankfully, we have fully restored the channel. Let's face it, sometimes computers suck, and this happens to be one of those times. But don't worry, we are back and in full swing. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching this weekly recap. This has been Ricky from The Games Outfit, signing out.